Formed in April 2024, the Immobilita Session of Uganda Wima has officially been launched by the Minister for Science, Technology and Innovation, Honorable Monica Msenero in Kampala. The session is tasked with many responsibilities, among which is the promotion and advancement of electric mobility in the country. UEMA was really set up to be the unifying body for electric mobility players within Uganda, and we are happy to be launching our association today, and we were officially actually established in 2024, April. Speaking to the media, the Honorable Minister explained the significance of e-mobility to a growing country like Uganda, among which is the opportunity of participating in saving the environment from the advancing effects of global warming. They enable us to participate in saving the climate because we all know the challenges the world is facing with the climate. However, this participation is different from the participations that we have had in that we are participating as technology producers. So we are producing the vehicles, we are producing the parts, and we are selling them to, first to ourselves in our country, but also to the world. And now a few of the private sector members have formed an association. One of the challenges facing the implementation of e-mobility in the country is the high cost of the commodities. However, Honorable Moseno says the government has acknowledged this and is working towards a permanent solution. This is not only in Uganda that they are expensive, it's all over the world. However, government has recognized this and because of our passion and our desire, strategic uh, policy to make sure that we position this industry to grow our economy, we are giving uh, incentives to bring down the price. For example, uh, there is import duty exemption on parts that are used in manufacturing. Uh, there is VAT exemption on products that have been made here in Uganda. And we are working on a 10-year tax exemption for those industries uh, and those investors who are working in uh, this immobility and they are locally producing. Jackie Bazimude, the president of Uganda Electric Mobility Association, UEMA, provided an insight on the launching event and how the association will be impactful in the development of the country's electric mobility. Yeah, today's event is really a significant milestone for us as players because it just shows one, um, we're coming together as a body, we want to lobby mainly for, for example, some physical incentives that we might want or want to see uh, changing in the industry, but also just to create awareness about immobility. So you find that so many players, so many users within the sector are very curious about what's happening, some of the innovations, but they do not even know how they can participate or fully know the benefits of immobility. Jack explained the benefits associated with electric mobility, such as cost effectiveness in terms of fuel and maintenance. She calls for investment in adoption, transition and manufacturing of imported spare parts locally. We have actually found from some of the studies that we have conducted that at least each user or commercial user um, is able to save about 10% when they compare with the cost that they incur in terms of fuel. But also um, electric vehicles actually offer the opportunity for, for less maintenance. They actually require less maintenance um, and we have seen that over time it's actually it's accumulated savings. Yeah. So honestly the benefits are there. It's just now for us to now invest in how do we now push to the adoption, to the transition and also just maybe have some of these parts that are being are imported in from like China or maybe Asia being produced locally so that at least we can enhance adoption and quickly have most of these products on ground. Other stakeholders expressed their views regarding the association and immobility technology. We have already, as of today, achieved uh, that we are beating the petrol powered vehicle. So our motorcycle costs less to purchase than a Bajaj Boxer. Tom Allright, the Africa Immobility Alliance Research Director, called for stable tax exemptions, especially on the value added tax and import duty, so as to enable the immobility sector flourish. Critically, uh, there have been a number of tax exemptions that were made available. However, these tax exemptions have changed and have not always been clear. There is a need to have stable tax exemptions, uh, particularly VAT and import duty, so that local EV manufacturers are able to access these to provide more jobs to Ugandans. We need more skilling, so this is where STI needs to come together with Ministry of Education and other sectors as well to create that EV curriculum. Uh, and on the same side, or on the same page as well, we need more awareness, more marketing, 
uh, so that people actually know about the benefits. But what entails e-mobility? In simple terms, e-mobility refers to the use of electrified vehicles for transportation purposes. It could be a car, bus, truck or any other form of vehicle that is full or partly electric like a hybrid. In July this year, the government indicated how it will need at least 6.4 trillion shillings in the five years to 2028 to implement the e-mobility strategy that will position Uganda's net source rather than a consumer of e-mobility tools and solutions. John Baptista Humza, Church of Uganda, Family TV News at 8.